Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another binger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. First and foremost, I want to thank you guys for joining us for another day of the life with cheese, man. I am back in my home. Once you see the garage, you know you're good. You're good. It's kind of weird going from like super hot weather and then I come back to like super cold weather. Yeah, feel me so now I can pop the jacket. But thank you for all the cheese mozos and cheese mozas that were sending me all the cheese, man, updating me so I wouldn't miss out. On absolutely nothing let's go ahead and get started with this week's freak of the week and it goes to i wonder if any of trace bellows fell on those people's food now the first thing that we're actually gonna be talking about did you guys see with miss ulema and mr burger king lean now it appears that she was revealing some truths over on tiktok twitter instagram all over the place she was commenting on my video on tiktok and i said K -k -k. but miss ulema put burger king on blast on twitter now when i first read the tweet i thought it said crispy cream uh, but i guess it's crispy cuts or i don't even know it's i guess it's the barbershop this is the barbershop of bk lean she had this to say my she was beefing with burger king and the co-worker and she had this to say why my ex's co-workers in my dms imagine being a nosy brr with wrong info name viviana working at crispy and i said sheesh over weird brr not minding their own so she gave out where she was working the young lady and i said i don't think that was kind of necessary uh, to expose that location i do nothing but mind my business i'm so tired of people talking on my name <sighs> Next time, stay a fan and stay on the sideline. Sideline, sideline. I said, sure, didn't get your own son on your birthday? Aw. And then she said, I had him on his birthday, all right. It was his birthday. It was on Saturday. Why are you messaging me, you weirdo? Freak of the week. And then this is a young lady's Instagram right there. You can see that Mr. Burger King, the Burger King is following. Ever get your hair done with her? She'll reschedule three different times. I guess she was being called out by another young lady over on Twitter. And she said that she was a little bit on the bigger spectrum to be more nice. We don't for TikTok guidelines. To wrap it all up, I'm done getting harassed by people I don't even know. Now, I thought they were done already. I feel me. They went to the court. They did absolutely everything. And then she's still beefing. Now, I'm not saying she doesn't have the right to defend herself because obviously, you know, the other young lady was talking about, oh, you didn't have your baby. So obviously, you know, you would get triggered if someone's talking about your damn baby. So he's probably cheesing me on the barbershop. He's cutting hair, talking about Ulema. But make sure to comment down below. Are you guys on Ulema's side or are you guys on BK Lean's side? Do you guys think she has the right to defend herself because, you know, the co workers reaching out to her? Comment down below. And did you guys see with Mr. Trey? Trey Carter, he finally posted for the first time ever on YouTube in a long time, like kind of like a vlog style video. And he was, you know, kind of responding to the whole Instacart backlash that he was getting. And alongside, he at the end, he was talking about Alondra again. Now, I want to say something. Sometimes I see somebody say, Oh, why are you covering Trey? You have to understand one thing. Does TMZ cover Orlando Brown every time he does something? Yes. Kanye? Yes. Anuel? Brr, yes. So every time these uh, freaks of the weeks do something all the social medias boom gotta catch up on it why because there's an audience that want to be updated on this boo-boo <laughs> like it or not sorry about that if you don't like it come caca de la masa guada or eat a big toe preferably the big toe because i don't want you to go through that process and cheese man is no different sorry about that i'm gonna continue doing me continue updating all the cheese mosas and if you don't like it but he had this to say mine i'm gonna take you guys in the daily life of mr ocha jatre Instacarter. <laughs> this is gonna be some real shit, nigga. All um, all gas, no brakes. You know what I mean? Um, all realness, no cap shit. You know what I mean? But now we mobbing through a. Uh, I'll show you. I'm through Bel Air. It's pretty cool. Water, groceries in the back. That was my nigga Tone. Say what's up, family. What's up? What's up? Yeah, we do this on our downtime. Why not? Right? Um. It's right here at a it was our first drop off. We had at Costco, um, and we went in there and knocked it out real quick. We like do it together because we realize it's it's a smart move. Like we knocked the shit out quicker. But yeah, and then as far as aloe goes, yeah, it's the same thing. I'm still, you know, persistent as fuck. I'm still trying to get her back. It is what it is. I know I look kind of like clown, whatever, like a buffoon. 
It is what it is, guys. I put a ring on her finger, and at the end of the day, I feel like she's the one I'm supposed to be with for the rest of my life. I really am in love with her because obviously she's a beautiful woman, beautiful soul, but there's something more to her. I don't know what it is about her. I just really, I know her ins and outs. <laughs> Um, people were saying that this is actually really hard to watch, that he's tweaking out. It's so sad. Get it through your head. Alonjo's happy with Benny. Make sure to comment down below. Zai, now, could you imagine that you're getting your door dash? He toda reñuda, all the greñas. Yeah, feeling all his hair, all the curls. Because remember, they're not healthy. That things are falling down at one, one piece by piece. So you're going to get you all your food and see a bunch of them. I'll be like, ugh, ugh. And then aside from that, I saw him smoking that good, good. You gonna get your groceries smelling that good, good, and now good, huh? I'm talking about, talking about, about that good, good, and now good, huh? Spaghetti with a little bit of that good, good, and some curls. I said good, good. Now, it's kind of scary as well because I don't know if Alondra and Benny order on Instacart. So if they haven't already gotten the restraining order, I think it would be a good chance to say, I'm out, skis. Also, don't forget, today we are going to do a reaction on our second channel of Trey Carter's Baby Mama with Mr. Joe Maynard. The music video is dropping today, I think, at 3 p.m. I will be doing a reaction for you guys if you guys do want to stay tuned for that. And did you guys see that Lizette's mom was calling me out over on TikTok uh, because I had reposted, I guess, a TikTok live that Lizette was on and she was explaining the whole situation, how she moved out how you can obviously see that she's not with her man and she's not at her house yada 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 and Lizeth and the mom had this to say my god why are you asking <laughs> y'all see that i'm here why are y'all asking <laughs> what do y'all need me to confirm you guys see that i'm here and there's no tea about that my lease was up i'm building a house like i'm just i'm just saying this exclusively for the people on live my lease was up and i'm building my house like there's no tea guys <laughs> my lease was up my last house that i was in like i was renting it i was not it, it wasn't mine i didn't like i didn't just move out my lease was up it is very clear that i'm at my mom's house girl <laughs> like i don't need to address nothing you'll see that i'm here <laughs> you're asking But like, people want to know everything. Like, how much was my rent? What was I paying? No, like, I'm, I was renting, guys. Like, my lease was up. There's no tea. I see the comments, but I only like, I only say what I want. Um, but that's why I haven't been filming a lot of content because people, are, people are like, oh my god, <sighs> she's at her mom's house. I'm not embarrassed though. I don't give. I don't care. It's not like I. It's not like I got evicted or something, and then like that's why I'm here. I did not get evicted. I. Este video es exclusivamente para Pancho. Con todo respeto, Pancho el chismoso. Bueno, mira, Pancho, tú pusiste que mi hija vive en mi casa. Bueno, ya que anunciaste eso, también anuncia que tiene una tienda para que vayan todas las chismosas que tienes a comprar a la tienda de mi hija. Thank you, Pancho. Now, just to clarify, I wasn't the one saying, you know, that she was at her house. I literally just reposted her damn live. People in the comments saying, oh, well, he lives in a damn garage. I wasn't saying there was nothing wrong with living in a damn garage. I was just reposting her damn live. Then the mom came out and she was a little bit nice. I feel me. Now, I usually do charge for promos. Fortunately, we're not really going to be promoting her business all that much here. We did a little bit on TikTok, but here, sorry about that. Don't do no double promotions. And aside from that, how do you get time to promote and not even offer a damn discount code? So, Lizeth, if you're watching this, hook the panchitas up. How you going to say the promote your clothes and not offer a damn discount code you see what i'm saying Have a brother out here. but hello to the mom welcome to the channel you are now an unlocked character did you guys see with miss jaylene ojeda she was uh, revealing more truth about peso pluma and she was getting a little bit upset because people were asking her my God. that's ever kissed me it's peso pluma and that's it it wasn't anything more than a kiss we saw you with peso okay you guys saw me what holding hands and you guys saw me kiss Oh my God, se va a acabar el mundo, ay Dios mío, ay. me dieron un beso. Se va a acabar el mundo, soy una puta porque me dieron un beso. Ay. Like, shut the f*** up. You just act como que son perfect and santos. Like, why is this such a big deal that we kissed and that we went on a date? Like, you guys are probably just mad because you wish that was you. Like, guys wish that was them and girls I want to date him. I didn't want him, but I still went on a date with him. She was still my friend. It's girl code. Like, you guys don't understand. The people that don't understand is because you guys are men. You guys are men and you don't care. But as girls, it's different, you know? It's different. I know he's for everybody. It's not that. It's not about that. It's just, it's the action. It's like saying one thing and then doing the opposite. You know, it's different. And she was calling out some other girl because she broke the girl code. I think uh, she shouldn't be talking about girl code because I don't think she respects the girl code to ya fila, brother. But she was calling out this other girl because she was with Mr. Peso Pluma. Make sure to comment down below. Do you guys just think she's mad that Peso Pluma said later?
And for the world news, did you guys see out in Florida? I saw this TikTok come up on my page, and I'm gonna just let him explain it. Mike! El gobernador de Florida, DeSantis, está promoviendo una ley que trabajar sin papeles sea una felonía y que todas las compañías o empleadores tienen que utilizar el E-Verify. O sea, va a ser imposible a los que no tenemos papeles trabajar. O sea, básicamente imposible. No vamos a poder trabajar. Entonces me gustaría que el compa mande unos 300 personas aquí de ojos blanquitos. Ciudadanos, pues todos ciudadanos. Que vengan a colgar chirroc, a hacer el frame, colgar los ductos, a hacer electricidad. Todo. Y que mande también ese montón de gente allá para el campo. A la agricultura. Van a cosechar a ver si es cierto. Que van a poder hacer el trabajo que hacemos nosotros. Los inmigrantes en este país. Que ellos solitos quieren ir a la quiebra. No sé qué tienen en la cabeza. So I'll go ahead and Rosetta Stone it for you guys. Basically, they pass. I think they're gonna try to pass this bill that's gonna make people need documents like legal documentations that you're born here to be working is what I'm understanding. This is not only gonna affect construction workers. I was reading it's gonna be affecting a lot of people. So Florida's economy, they're saying, goodbye. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to smack a like because I'm back home. Don't forget the Mother's Day giveaway that's coming up really soon. It's gonna be done this weekend. Follow my social medias, and I really do appreciate you guys. Consejos, el suegro me cantó un tiro. Mira, ¿sabes qué, carnalito? Si vas a ir a hablar con tu suegro, si es de pocas pulgas, mi carnalito. No vayas. Todo desguanguilado, mi carnalito. No, carnal, que se mire ese pinche ánimo. Que diga este pinche morro. Trae huevos, trae valor. Está la pinche cara por hablar conmigo y es lo que quiero, va a decir el suegro. Pero se va a decir. Ah. Buenas tardes, suegro. Buenas tardes, don. Este, ¿Cómo está? Y luego usted luego le hace así para atrás. Luego con las pinches manos así. O luego se la pasa comiéndose. No, mi carrito, dígale, suegro. Su suegro, ahora sí que vengo a hablar con usted. Tú sabes que ahorita la juventud en poca edad se enamora. Y la neta, pues estoy enamorado de su belleza hija, de su hermosa ni niña que tanto quiere, que tanto ama. Pero pues ahora sí que vengo a darle la cara y pues quiero que le dé permiso que ande conmigo. Con todo respeto se merece y ahora sí que 